In another universe, Beyond the Spider-Verse would have actually came out this Friday. But this will have to do for now. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, ODRK, the OV, back again with another video. Um, Last year, we got an actual Spider-Man short called The Spider Within that was released during one of the festivals and it wasn't released by sony for a while and as of today we actually got the short film released and it's not that bad of a little short because if you think about it even though we're not getting beyond the spider verse this year at least these kept us on the high because yes it takes time for that animation to do and because of the strikes it takes longer because that whole process takes a lot of effort than regular animated films but with this short at least it kept us tuned in so the spider within is a little short film featuring miles morales and his dad Miles dealing with the whole mental illness of Peter Parker being Spider-Man and also dealing with his mental health because, yes, I did wonder what that story would be like if Miles Morales was just the only Spider-Man and we're not dealing with any other spider characters. But I kind of do like the little pieces in this because this takes place before Across the Spider-Verse, or I don't want to say exactly before, but you see him in the original suit right before he modifies it. And you see him actually getting beaten up by criminals. His parents talking about, like, you need to learn responsibility. And Miles not being able to confront all that once. Because, yes, just like Peter Parker, he has all that power, all the responsibility, but he can't do everything at once. Even battling his own demons, because we've seen Peter Parker struggle. Yes, he's struggling to pay the rent, struggling to keep with his girlfriend, struggling to keep his job. But with Miles, you gotta remember, he's still in high school. He still has both parents who actually love and support him. But... With his story, at least for what they did across and in Into the Spider-Verse, his story is more downscale compared to Peter Parker because he's still a kid in Brooklyn. He's just doing his thing. And also, he's 15 at this point, I believe. All the stress got to his head to the point where he's actually seeing demons of himself. He sees a Black Miles Morales figure with, white, with yellow eyes and actual hallucinations of spiders, which I gotta say, a couple days ago, they announced a Seth Rogen uh, produced Venom movie for the Spider-Verse. And I said, Okay, I wonder how that's going to turn out because I actually trust him with this stuff. And looking at this short and seeing how they did horror, showing how Miles is actually running from spiders and the vi visualization of spiders actually going through Miles and him actually coming back into focus. I'm like, wow, that's actually a good aesthetic. And especially since we, di we did kind of see something like that in Across the Spider-Verse, like that scene when Miles is looking through a spot and you see visions of the future and everything in 2D animation, where you see both his dimension and... Uh, Spider-Man India's dimension crossing over so like that you saw the visions of his dad something like that that was horrific we did see and it's kind of cool seeing it in this downscale even the setup about it was cool because it's Miles coming back home he's his dad getting ready to watch a scary movie and Miles is like having all these visions and stuff like that it's kind of funny because yes I get the idea of your dad trying to do something nice man I feel that too and I hate it sometimes when my dad is there to do the right thing for me he's like oh hey oh dear hey I just got this thing. I want to watch something with you. And I'm like, yeah, not today. Or I'm just busy or tired from the gym, school, or whatever thing that I'm prioritizing with. And I just want to come home and just rest. I sometimes feel because I'm like, I never get a chance. And whenever he does get the chance to do something nice with me, I would go for it. But Miles does the same thing up till the end. He goes with his dad, keeps a little conversation outside. He's like, hey, dad, I want to talk about some stuff. Anything special in your out, son? Yes, school, girls, but maybe this one girl which we already know how that played out. What I can say about the show is it's fun. It's not even that long too. It's like eight minutes long. I wish it could have been a bit longer because I do want to see more of that side of Miles because yes, we're dealing with the Spider-Verse and all these different spider people coming into the movies. But what I always wanted since the first um, Spider-Verse movie is that we don't get a Miles centric story in animation because I know we got it in Miles Morales on the PS4 game. But also in Spider-Man 2, we get to see a bit of development with him doing his college essay and getting ready for that while also being Spider-Man. And that's the only thing he wants to do at this point in that game. With this, I wanted to see more of what Miles can do on a solo Spider-Man scale because we do see it in some parts. But hopefully after this whole Spider-Verse trilogy or if they actually decide to do another Spider-Verse movie, they could actually deal with Miles Morales dealing everything on the slower scale a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man per se. I love the short. It's on YouTube if you can check it out right now. I might as well put it in the link in the description so like that. After you watch this review, you could actually go into the video yourself and actually have a good time watching it. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.